So here are some comments about using violin type pegs on a banjo. <clears throat> uh, violin type pegs are uh, probably the oldest uh, type of peg that are used uh, on banjos and uh, they should work pretty well for nylon strings. Uh, for steel strings they're not as accurate or precise and steel strings take uh, a little bit fewer degrees of rotation to get the same change in pitch so it's a little bit challenging to tune a, a banjo string st steel string using violin pegs but they're, they're great for either uh, gut strings or for nylon strings uh, what's important uh, to have uh, pegs violin type pegs that will work for you properly is to make sure that you have a good fit of the, the peg to the hole in the peg head and here's an old old banjo that I <clears throat> am in the process of replacing a tailpiece. And here's the fourth string peg. And I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, but uh, I, I can see that this is this is the region that goes uh, through the the peg head. And uh, turning the peg to look at it, I can see that it's uniformly shiny. And that means that when it's in that hole, uh, uh, every uh, every square millimeter of the peg is contacting the hole in the peg head. So you've got a lot of opportunity for friction for the peg to work properly. If it, it isn't a good fit, likely you'll see just a band of shiny area on the uh, peg. And it's worth taking your pegs out to, to check them if you're having problems with your pegs uh, because that it's kind of fundamental to make sure you have a, a good fit. Uh, if you don't have a good fit, uh, what, what I like to do is I, I've got tools and I, uh, I may uh, ream the peg head hole using a, a peg, re peg hole reamer <clears throat> and I may also use a peg shaper to shape the, uh, the peg so it fits better. Uh, I do a fair number of these so I, I decided it was worthwhile getting a a uh, peg hole reamer and a peg shaver. Uh, in if, if you have one banjo and want to work on just one banjo, something that seems to work just about as well would be to take uh, a sheet of very fine uh, sandpaper, something like oh, uh, 200 grit uh, silicon carbide, uh, wet or dry type paper. <clears throat> cut a piece that'll go over your your peg and then put it in the 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 a hole in the peg head and turn it. That'll, uh, for one thing, it'll roughen the inside of the, the hole in the peg head, which may make it uh, work a little bit better. And it, it'll also tend to make the uh, hole in the, in the peg head conform better to the shape of the peg. If you have irregularities in the, the, the shape of the peg, uh, then you, you may have trouble and you, you likely will have difficulty in getting it to fit. Um, some of the old pegs, because of uh, use and uh, turning through time, uh, you won't have a uniform taper along the peg head. It'll be kind of uh, irregular. So if you have that condition, it may be tough to get the pegs to work. So here's uh, a peg, <clears throat> again, with the shiny area that's uniform all the way around the peg, and it uh, c covers the, the full depth of the peg head. That's a good fitting peg. I, I don't have trouble with uh, this peg. Now, uh, once you've got a, a peg <clears throat> uh, that's a good fit in the peg head, uh, using violin type tuners is a little bit different from using friction type tuners or geared tuners. Uh, what, what, you, what you're going to rely on is friction to hold the uh, peg into the peg head. So when I tune, typically what I do is, uh, even this is with a, a good fitting peg, uh, I'll always tune up to a note. I never try to tune down to a note because that seems not to work well with any kind of uh, uh, tuning, but especially seems to work not well with uh, violin type pegs. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a finger on top of the peg head and just apply, you can see with my hand, I'm applying just a little bit of pressure, upwards pressure of the peg into the hole in the peg head as I turn it.
seems to work pretty well. I've got a good fitting peg and I hardly put any pressure at all uh, to get it to stay. If you have to really push like crazy to get the peg to stay in place, you've got a bad fitting hole and you're going to have problems regardless. Uh, Good fitting pegs, uh, you, you in all likelihood you won't even have to apply that pressure if you've got good fitting pegs and you've got just uh, the right conditions between the peg and the hole in the peg head. Uh, you shouldn't even really need to push up. It, it, you should, if you don't pull out on the peg, uh, just making small adjustments in the peg, uh, sh it shouldn't make any difference and it should should work without having to apply that little bit of pressure. If you need to apply a little bit of pressure, that's fine. If you need to really push the pegs in, then something mechanically is not right. Uh, the fifth string, uh, pretty much the same thing. Now what I'm doing is I've got my little finger on the bottom side of the neck and uh, I'm using that to push down just a little bit. And I, I generally tune by ear, so I'm not using an electronic tuner, but uh, again I'm, I'm tuning up to the note. and. Uh, uh, the instrument supply companies offer a product called uh, peg dope and if you have a peg that's very well fit you have to start out with a peg that's well fitting if you have a peg that's well fitting and if you put raw wood against raw wood uh, it's going to tend to bind a little bit and it may not slip very smoothly so they make a, a product called peg dope which I think is a combination of beeswax and something else so it's got just the right amount of slipperiness and just the, the right amount of uh, stickiness uh, to uh, give you perfect friction conditions in the uh, peg head. If you have uh, banjo or fiddle, uh, peg dope's not very expensive and it's r really worth having it. Uh, if, if you're in a pinch, uh, it, uh, so to speak, and if you uh, w want to get pegs that are sticking too much to loosen up a little bit, you can use a tiny amount of modeling clay. Uh, if you have pegs that are slipping too much, you can either use a little bit of chalk or what I've used in a pinch is uh, powdered up uh, rosin, which will make the, the peg stick, stick a little better. I, ideally, you have a good fitting peg and use just a little bit of peg dope to give you the right friction conditions and it should work beautifully.